What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, guys, well, I hope you have your vouchers ready because it looks as though we got a little alpha here. Now, keep in mind that this is not official official. It's not in any post yet, but uh, it was dropped on MavChat by Cryptomancer. Now, what I'm talking about is the amount of vouchers per battle wagon for the upcoming Rebellion airdrop conflicts. So Matt had floated out in several town halls that they were thinking about 10 vouchers per battle wagon, but here we are with Cryptomancer earlier this morning saying upon further consideration, we have decided to raise it to 50 vouchers per wagon. We felt that 10 was a little on the low side. Uh, he also shared some other things, you know, the, the first conflict, I'm sorry, the first conflict is scheduled to start after maintenance on December 12th. So that's going to come a week after, uh, you know, it will end sometime in January. I believe these, these are supposed to go for about 30 days. Uh, so, you know, for, for the most part, we are going to expect it a week after Rebellion begins. Then with the, once you can claim your airdrop, the way that it's going to work uh, is you'll be able to use vouchers. And right now they're testing about 20 vouchers per card internally on the QA server. So how this is going to work for actually claiming the airdrops will be you can spend up to twenty dollars per uh, sorry twenty vouchers per card in order to try and increase the chances from two percent to four percent that it ends up being gold foil. Whether that's worthwhile or not, people will have to make a decision on that. But I like seeing a high number of vouchers across all of these considering how much we are printing per day. So um let's actually do a little quick math here. Now 50 vouchers uh, there's there's five hundred thousand packs right? So 500,000 packs, I believe you could put 100 packs on each of the battle wagons before you need to get another one. So if you just do the rough math, 500,000 packs that have been purchased, we're going to assume that no packs get opened, but everybody wants the airdrops, right? Uh, because it's only up to five cards that can be staked in addition to those uh, 100 packs. But if you just look at it as everybody wants to get the airdrops, and nobody's going to open packs, then kind of the minimum, right, of this base assumption is that we would burn about 250,000 vouchers, which is not very very much. That's like less than a week's worth considering we print 40,000 per day. Um, but on the whole, keep in mind that I'm just doing this at the base base level. Once people start opening the packs, there's definitely more than, uh, you know, five cards that you're going to be receiving. And so therefore you will need multiple battle wagons in order to stake those cards. Not to mention, you know, the, I think the market is going to be dry in terms of liquidity. If people are really going to try and increase their airdrop points early on and get a head start on everybody else. But you know, that, that leaves a lot, uh, that, that leaves a lot of complexity that we're not going to dive into here. What I will say though, is I love this. I love the fact that Matt and the team are very committed to try and give vouchers this type of utility. I think it's really important. Uh, we've just seen vouchers be the laughing stock, and I have done my fair share of laughing at them, calling them the uh, you know the shit coin of the Splinterlands ecosystem. But times are a changing. I sh I will say, and I will admit that. Now we've seen the commitment you know left and right with rebellion and all the things that they have planned for the conflicts. But here we are with yet another increase, just to show how much value and how much utility they are trying to put back towards vouchers. And this is all before the land 2.0 white paper drops, which is supposed to include a lot of vouchers there as well. So exciting times ahead, 40,000 per day, 14.6 million per year. Let's hope we get to a point where there's just not enough vouchers in print for all of the things that everybody wants. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Just want to share a quick update with you. Otherwise, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.